Hey, and today this is video number four, and this is what I want to cover. Remember when I was talking about mentals? Okay, this is the whole key to mentals. It's three M. Remember this. M number one, mental number one is you got to figure out what you want and why it's important to you. Because without that, nothing else is going to happen. Because if your why is not big enough, then you're not going to be able to go through the pain and the circles. This shit ain't going to be easy. Mm. Life ain't easy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's the mental number one. You got to figure out what you want and why you want it. Because your mental it leads to M number two. Your mental is going to motivate you to get up every day early, to prepare your meals, prepare your supplements, to read the necessary books, and to push yourself, man. That's what it's about. That's how you become a champion, homie. So then here's mental number three. Here's M number three, which I think is very, very important. I'm going to tell you people something. Whenever you want to do something right, it's always good to find a mentor. And for those of you motherfuckers, you Generation X motherfuckers and all these millennium you motherfuckers don't like to read books and shit, always on your motherfucking phone, put your fucking phone down and listen to this shit. So look, back in the days they had a thing called an apprenticeship program. This is before college, university. This is old school back when we was like in cave and shit. When I used to run shit and go around and just be just demolishing shit because I'm a beast, right? But they would take the old G the motherfucking uh, blacksmith do, and then he takes the little dude, hey little dude, when you grow up, I'm gonna show you how to be a blacksmith, so you just watch what I do. So little dude watched the blacksmith, how he would take the swords back then. Everybody was a beast. Motherfucker come up in your community and see your girl, they just be riding on the horse, come here, witch, and chop your motherfucking head off of you, a bitch, unless you motherfucker like me, I'll sleep and suck the motherfucker off his horse. Anyway, so, the OG would take the little young dude and show him, yeah, first you gotta get some stuff and then you heat it up and then it becomes metal and then you beat it until the edges are sharp and then you just practice with it. So you have to do an apprenticeship program. So what you wanna do, you wanna find a mentor that you respect and that knows the fuck he talk about. It's very easy to do nowadays. You got motherfuckers like me on the internet, YouTube, TV, or there might be some people in your community. The reason this is very important is, and you learn this from a golf pro, or a tennis pro. The golf pro, they tell you if you start playing golf by yourself, and you learn the improper way to follow, I don't play golf, that's a little bitch boy. I'm a beast motherfucker, I'm just, I watch some shit. And you'll learn to follow the, the proper follow through on how to hold a golf club or whatever. Then as you start playing golf, the people start complaining. Hey man, you take it too long on the greens, hey man, you're not hitting the ball. You be missing the ball kind of bullshit. So what they say is, if you want to be good at something, you find the authority and you do this what they tell you to do. And for you motherfuckers don't understand that shit, it's called mirroring, bitch boy. Get on your motherfucking smartphone, look up NLP, ask me Robbins, motherfucker, so you learn some shit instead of jacking your dick and playing video games, little bitch. So what you gotta do is you gotta find somebody who respects you right now, you're lucky enough to have me. So you find a mentor and you tell him like this, hey man, I don't know how to get beef and quit being a bitch boy and quit having people taking my women and taking my tennis shoes like that. So, the mentors, Figure out what you want, that it's gonna motivate you, and then you get a mentor that's gonna help you take all of your goals and dreams and apply them to reality because a lot of stuff is theory. And what that means is, yeah, you might read a muscle book, yeah, you might even watch some shit on YouTube, but until you actually do the actual, the practicum is called the practice of it, that's where you get good. Just like basketball, right? You can read all the books you want on basketball, motherfucker. You can watch all the games on basketball, motherfucker. You can even go to a game. Until you take the actual ball, you go between your legs and have your back. You see that motherfucker? You motherfucker don't know. That motherfucker said, man, see that? I'm athletic, motherfucker. I'm there. Look at that. So I'm trying to tell you this. 
you motherfuckers gotta understand, you gotta find somebody that's gonna show you the right way to do it. Fortunately for you, that's me. And I'm gonna tell you why. Look here. If you wanna learn how to be Rip, you can't go to a little Rip Aiden dude, because that's just his steps. And if you wanna be a big, small motherfucker, you can't go to a big ass Viking, because that's his genetic for me. I came from just being a little motherfucking monkey. I developed into a silverback monkey. Because I put in the hard work, you know what I'm saying? I had the mental, I had the mentor, and I'm gonna show you my first step. So just remember the three M's. Your mental to decide what you want, it's gonna motivate you, and then you get a mentor to help you put all your motivation into the right path. Because let me tell you something. You can be motivated as hell, motherfucker. But if you're trying to get to San Francisco and you headed to LA, you ain't never gonna get there. You understand? So you gotta make sure you're in the right path. So until next time, motherfuckers, OG Silver back out, motherfucker. Cut the